Hey guys, in this video I'm going to cover the pros and cons of buying a brand new home in the Pensacola area. If you want to learn all about this, this video is for you. And stay tuned to the end of this video where I'm going to show the best brand new home under $275,000. So before we get started, I want to welcome you to my channel. Uh, my name is Kenneth Rackers. I'm a real estate agent and realtor and investor in the Pensacola and Gulf Breeze area. And if you need any assistance when it comes to buying or selling a home in the Pensacola area, I'd be happy to assist you. So feel free to reach out. My contact uh, details are just below. Feel free to comment in this video, um, email, call, or text, and I'd be more than happy to assist you. So pro number one is pricing and process. So typically when a new home in our area is, is put on the market, it's a fixed price. There's not negotiating down, but there also there's no escalation where the price is going to go up and you get into these multiple bid um, wars. And also the process, um, for the most part, um, there's not a lot of inspections and repairs needed. So for the most part, the process is relatively straightforward and the closing date is normally pretty solid. And number two is warranty. Typically when you buy a brand new home, you basically have what we call a, a, a one year cover to cover warranty where anything and everything of the home is covered for one year. And then beyond that, there's our limited warranties. Um, so a lot of times these are eight or 10 years and they cover um, different systems like HVAC, uh, the foundation, and uh, other major components. So pro number three is insurance. And with a brand new home, insurance is quite a bit cheaper. Often, um, you know, half or can be as much as one third in comparison to an older home that was built in the 50s, 60s, or 70s. And that's primarily because of the Florida Building Code and um, that the newest homes are built to the newest safety features when it comes to electric plumbing and hurricane and wind rating. Number four is flood risk. So there's certainly for homes, for brand new homes built in large subdivisions, there are certainly more requirements in the building code when it comes to drainage, water retention, um, sewers. So in comparison to older homes, even built you know, 20, 30, 40 years ago. So certainly um, with brand new homes that are built correctly, should have lower flood risk, lower flood premiums, and overall cost savings. And number five is modern options and floor plans. So typically when you go to a new home uh, community, you have maybe between two and five floor plan options. And a lot of those revolve around um, obviously what's popular now, open floor concepts, removal of a dining room, um, eat-in area, and all the newest technologies. So that's really the difference um, when you have a new home you're not going to be having a home typically that feels dated and has really all the bells and whistles. And let's roll right into the cons. So con number one is delays, um, whether that's delays in labor or delays in materials, supply chain, we're certainly going through those. So with a new home, you definitely have to worry about um, delays versus an existing home. Con number two is really availability and the fact that a new home typically is not ready to move in right away. It's typically still, you know, a few weeks or a few months out. So that's certainly a con versus an existing home. When an existing home is ready to be sold, um, it would be ready to move in right away or as soon as the financing was handled. And the third con is HOAs. Now, however you can look at this as a positive or a negative, um, most new home communities in our area do have HOAs, whether they're a few hundred dollars per year or a few thousand, depending on the amenities. So I said, you can really look at this as a pro or a con. Um, what are you getting out of that? Hopefully you're getting um, you know, some added amenities, whether those are pool, gym, um, sidewalks, parks, extra features. And if you're not, um, really what are you paying for? So HOAs can be good or bad um, for some people. They don't like people telling them what they can park in there or what they can do in their yard, um, so I put this as really a pro or a con, but certainly can be a con because when you're buying a new home, you definitely need to review um, the HOA documents, the covenants, the restrictions to make sure that you can use it for whatever you'd like. 
Number four is the cookie cutter same feel. With many communities, especially in the most popular builders, um, they build kind of the same floor plans across multiple communities. So while you do have maybe three to five floor plan options, um, a lot of times they're building one floor plan every two or three homes and they only really change the colors. So certainly with a lot of new homes, and as long as you're not going with custom homes, you know, basically spec homes, they're gonna have a cookie cutter feel because they're gonna be look exactly or very similar to a house that's just around the corner or just a few streets down. And a lot of times the only thing they're gonna change is, you know, the orientation left and right or, you know, a few of the trim colors or siding colors. Hong Kong is smaller lots. Typically, especially new homes under 500,000 are gonna have very small lots. Um, often just you know 60 70 80 feet wide and kind of small backyards so with a lot of new homes um, smaller yards is certainly a fact and uh, the final thing is thanks for checking in as promised i'm going to show you um, give you a video tour of the best in my opinion the best um, new home under two hundred and seventy five thousand dollars And that's a wrap on the pros and cons video. Um, if you enjoyed this video and gained any insight, I certainly would appreciate hitting that like button right there. And if you'd like to hear more from me, um, hit that subscribe and notification button so you get videos. Um, all in all, you know, really, the pros and cons, you have to weigh for you and your family, um, whether it's right for you. And if you have any questions regarding this video or any questions regarding um, anything housing real estate related in the Pensacola Gulf Breeze area, I'd be happy to assist you. Thanks so much for tuning in and until next time, take care.